class we are going to learn how to make use of dynamic table component while building visual builder application if you see over here under the component that is dynamic components list we are having a dynamic table unlike a regular table we are making use of dynamic table if you want to customize the layout of the table like suppose if you have built an application which will be consumed by employees of an organization as well as their managers then if you want to customize the layout of the table such that the managers will be able to see the salary information of all the employees but the employees won't see the salary information in the table for all the employees so such kind of customizations you can do based on the user's role while accessing the application or even we can customize the layout based on the screen size like if the application is getting viewed with the help of phone then you can display less number of columns in a table and in a bigger screen devices you can have more number of columns displayed now in order to consume dynamic table just drag and drop it over here in the screen wherever you want to display the table so this is one of the methods how you can make use of dynamic table as soon as you drag and drop this dynamic table you will see a configure layout over here click on this expand the apis or the business objects what you have in this application now in my application i do not have any apis for business objects as i don't have any business objects created i'm making use of this countries api in order to populate the dynamic table for this use case first of all it will ask to create the rule set we will create a rule set so with the help of rule set we will be able to define later the n number of layouts based on your conditions now i will create the rule set and tell in the default or in this rule set i want to display the name of the country let me just see where it is oh, it's over here click on name common then i want to see whether it's an independent country and if it is a landlock that's it then it is asking for a primary key over here i will randomly select one field click on next next if you want to filter the api response you can do it over here i will click on finish done as soon as i tab out i will see this getting populated this is how we can add the dynamic table as soon as you add the dynamic table if you go to general it will show based on what rule set it is getting populated the data now you can click on this go to rule set over here and directly go to the rule set that is countries what you have created and this is the layout another method is it's over here if you see this layout symbol it will create one layout click on this and it will open the same rule set whatever you see over here let me just close this window and again click on this rule set if you see under all we are having a countries rule set and here we are having one layout now if you want to see how many fields are there in this layout click on this open symbol over here you can see three fields are there let me go back to this country's rule set now i will create one more rule set we can just click on this plus and add the one more rule set and another method is we can just duplicate this and we can give the name i will tell small screen size click on duplicate i will see in the fields how many fields are displayed now in the smaller screen devices i don't want this landlocked information let me just delete that let me go back to the screen now here in the condition i will tell this layout is only for sm only devices click on true now here in this layout we are having three fields i will add one more field over here that is population then let me go back in the condition i will write this is for medium size devices let's see whether we can rename yeah we can rename medium size devices click on done now here in the condition i will tell this is only for medium size devices click on true now i will copy this and create one layout which will display for bigger size devices which is above medium size i will name this as bigger size devices click on duplicate now i will edit this condition wherein i will tell this is for large and up devices click on true done and in the layout what we will do is we will add the flag information over here it's over here let me just expand select this png also i will display the area done now let me just go back to countries here we are having couple of layouts now we will see how it will look now this is how it will look in the bigger size devices i'm using the laptop over here let's just view this application our dynamic table got populated successfully over here as i told i'm making use of a bigger device that is a laptop which is having a 14 inch screen now let's see the rule set over here for the bigger devices let me just open 
here I will see up to area in the table. Now let me just pull out this tab. Now I will just minimize the screen size and see how the layout will change. Now here if you see the layout has changed to population only. Here if I scroll towards right it's not showing me the flag and the area information. Let me just go back to these countries and here if I open this medium size screens here I will see only up to population. So that's what it is showing. Now let me just further reduce the screen size. Let's see whether it's allowing me to reduce the screen size. No, it is not allowing me further to reduce the screen size. So what we can do is we can go to this design view. And from here, what I will do is I will change the layout from normal desktop view to the S20. If I see I am getting only two columns in the table. That is one is a common name and the independent status. Now if I go to this rule set and see the layout for small devices that is SM only if I open this I am having only two fields that is independent status and the common. Let me change this view to desktop. Here I am seeing almost all the fields. Now I will select fit to canvas only so that we are having flag as well as the area information over here. Now suppose here if you see in the PNG I am seeing something called as PNG column it is nothing but the flag. It will look ugly if we just show the URL of the image instead we have to see the flag of the country. Now this we can customize for that we have to go to this rule set. Now flag information we are displaying in the bigger devices. Now open this device click on this flag. Now here if you see there is an option to create a template we have to click on this create provide the name as flag template click on create here if you see we are having an input text in this layout now what we can do is we can make use of the image or else we can make use of the avatar component and display the flag i will search for the avatar component over here just select and drop it over here in the design view or else we can just drop it over here in the structure as well i am dropping with the help of structure in the input text the data it is populating from the value same thing we need to populate the avatar as well I will delete this input text coming to the avatar select this avatar go over to the data here in the source we have to click on this fx we have to select this value so whatever value it was using in order to populate the input text it will populate the avatar and now instead of the url we will see the avatar getting populated with the flag so like this we can make use of dynamic table component in visual builder application in order to customize the layout based on the screen size as well as we can customize this table based on the user roles like if the manager is using this application then you can customize the layout how it will look for the manager how it will look for the employee and also we can make use of the custom properties over here and we can customize this validation based on your own parameters instead of the inbuilt variables like the response UI variables which comes under the response you variable over here or else we making use of the user roles you can have your own customized parameters based on which you can arrive at the decision. In our next class we will see how to make use of the dynamic table component with the help of business objects.